Collecting a new army is one of the biggest financial commitments you'll make in your life. It comes in third place after buying a house or buying a new car. But when you buy a house or you buy a car, the banks are there to help you out. When it comes to toy soldiers, you're pretty much on your own. Until now. Hi, welcome to Toys and Hood. Today, I'm looking to change the way that we buy toy soldiers. I want you to have the army you want, not the army you can afford. If you were to buy an army all at once, you're probably talking, what, £500, $800. You've got to pay that all at once. It doesn't include the rules, it doesn't include the paints or the tools, anything you really need. Of course, you can always buy second hand, but then it's not your paint scheme and it's a bit of a risk. Uh, once I ordered a metal hive tyrant off of eBay, it was sold as a professional paint job. Now, I get that. I could see from the picture it wasn't, uh, and paint jobs are pretty subjective, so that's fine. But when it arrived, not only was the paint job appalling, but the model had been packaged in a Chinese takeaway tray. There was no packaging around it, not that it would have made a difference, because a hive tyrant does not fit in a Chinese takeaway tray. It had been broken to get it into the pack. <laughs> that also revealed that it had been stuck together by some sort of resin and blue tack combination. It was awful. And then, insult to injury, the Chinese tray hadn't been that well cleaned, which meant that my hive time and smelt of fried food. When you do find a nice second-hand army, it can still be quite expensive. Toy soldiers, especially Games Workshop and even more so Space Marines, actually hold their value really well. There's a second-hand market. And that got me thinking. So as I said, there's two things that are more expensive than a new army. That's a house or a car. Now to buy a house, you get a mortgage and pay for it over, say, 25, 30 years. That's a long time. And the, well, over 30 years, if, if we were to carry on the way we were doing, there'd be another nine editions of Warhammer 40,000 by the time you paid your army off. You'd actually be on 19th edition by the time you paid it off. Cars, on the other hand, don't last as long. You can always buy one outright, but what a lot of people do is they lease them. So you basically pay for it for a few years and then you hand it back. And you're only paying for the time that you use it. So why not do the same thing with toy soldiers? So here's the deal. You pick the army you want. So let's say Space Marines, uh, 2,000 points. Uh, so a, a quick list, which I'll, I'll put in the comments or I'll put in the description so you can see the full thing. But let's say an Apothecary, Minus Calgar, Uriel Ventris, a Ballista Strednaught and another Ballista Strednaught, then a Centurion Devastator Squad of six figures, so two box sets, a Company Heroes box set, an Eradicator Squad, an Inceptor Squad of six figures, that's two box sets, and then another two squads of uh, three, so that's another two box sets, four in total. Then we want a Scout Squad of five and another Scout Squad of five. And then lastly, we want an ally of an Eversaur Assassin. So to buy this all outright would cost you £552.50. Instead, what you'll do is you'll pay, say, £50 up front, a small amount up front, and then you pay £10 a month for 24 months. At the end of two years, you simply return these models to me. Or, if you like the models you and you want to keep the army, what you can do instead is basically pay the balance off. Now, what I would then do is I would make my outstanding balance back by selling these models on. So, of course, this means they must be in good condition. I must be able to resell them. Uh, otherwise, there'd have to be some sort of balancing penalty charge there. They must also be sensible weapon choices and upgrades. And the paint jobs needs to be, well, a war game standard at least. And then it also depends on the game. So, you know, some games are more popular than others. Some armies are more popular than others. Warhammer 40,000 Space Marines are going to pretty much hold their value. Well, unless Games Workshop go and decide they're going to release Secundus Space Marines and put everything out. Dark Eldar, on the other hand, eh, not so much. But why stop with just the models? You can add extras, maybe a codex, a rule book, or a dice, say £2 a month for a pack of those. Uh, maybe a scenery pack for £5 a month, so you've got a table to play on. Paints for £2 a month for a pack of those, make sure you can paint them for figures. Maybe figure cases to keep everything in for £3 a month. You know, we can all build a package that suits you. Two years is a long time, and you might worry that your army will get nerfed by some sort of data sheet upgrade or an FAQ. And that's okay, for an extra £5 a month, what we'll do is we'll insure your army, so that if it does get nerfed, you get in touch, we send you out the replacement units to bring your army back up to scratch. Then there's Codex and Rules Insurance. For an extra pound a month, if a new Codex or a new rulebook comes out during your two-year term, send you the rules for free. Make sure you're kept up to date. So there you go. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if it's something you'd be interested in. You'd be a fool to miss out on this. Thanks for listening. I've been Steve. This is Toys in the Hood. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. Well, I'm trying to exceed a thousand subscribers. So if you could subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. Please also like this video, share it with your friends. Let me know any comments, you know, that you've got any thoughts and just keep following the channel for loads of, well, 
new videos about gaming as I attempt to revolutionise the gaming industry. <laughs> Cheers, see you soon.